Alright guys, what's up? I'm Matty, and uh, you can see here that I'm bronze now. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is Heart of the Swarm. Uh, this this is me, uh, which one am I? This one. Oh, obviously I'm the Zerg, and this guy's Protoss. So this game I'm versing a Protoss. This is my first game in the ladder, and uh, I was unlucky enough to get placed into bronze. I couldn't sort of believe that I got put into bronze, but... Um, I said in the previous video that I like to play this game quite a bit. That's not actually true. I do like to play this game quite a bit, but that's my version of quite a bit. Um, I kind of really don't play this game enough. I had a, I had a bonus pool of like 950 uh, the last season, and that got... I think that's the reason why I got put into bronze. I shouldn't really be put into bronze. Uh, but after this win, I managed to get way back up to the top of silver. Um, so I was pretty happy about that. I was trying to push for gold tonight, and I got up to rank 1, but then this Protoss knocked me down, and I just couldn't couldn't deal with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this game here, I'm versing a Protoss. Pretty sure I've already said that, but whatever. And uh, yeah, my build's pretty much not going to change. I'm still going to go for Roaches. I'm still going to try and do that 11-minute timing attack. But um, this game sort of doesn't go to plan either. He sort of attacks me first, and that throws me off a little bit. Um, but it's, it's actually pretty good for me. Um, so I can see that he's got a probe there, and I'm a little bit worried that he's going to try and uh, do a little bit of a cannon rush or some sort of proxy pylon to block my hatchery, but uh, luckily he's coming into my base. Now, this right here is something I don't recommend. <laughs> That's, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Just, it, that mining time you lose, I'm not sure if it's actually worth killing that probe. Um, but at least, you know, it prevents him from actually using that probe to proxy some sort of pylon anyway, so you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Um, the, re the only reason I do that is because I watch Destiny do it, and, you know, I just think it's funny. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure in Grandmaster level it wouldn't be viable. I hear a lot of people say that it's not. Um, so, yeah. People tell Destiny off for it all the time. Uh, so, yeah. So, if, it, if you guys are new to this and you didn't watch the previous video, I recommend that you go watch the previous video first to sort of understand what's happening, but I'll give a brief summary here. So I'm doing I'm doing a 1-1 one, a one, one Roach timing attack at 11 minutes, and my goal is to just have that win the game for me. Um, the most important thing about uh, playing, playing this game is that you need to have a plan, I've realised, that you can't just sort of go into the game and just willy-nilly expect to do things. Like, you need to take the information you get from scouting and make decisions based on that, especially if you're Zerg. Um, but it's also very important to have a goal in mind when you start. Because not knowing what to do is like the worst thing in this game. I really hate it. It's so, it's so bad. Just when you don't know what to do, you, you slow down, you make the wrong units, and it's just crap. It sucks. It's a really bad feeling. So, you know, just something really simple. You know, my plan is to get roaches uh, and attack him at 11 minutes with 1-1 one, one upgrades uh, with 2-2 two, two on the way. So, that is my goal. You can see there that my base is up. I'm, s I'm falling a little bit behind. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Let's quickly do the check the unit tabs. I'm just I'm not building drones as fast as I can. I'm not really sure why. I think it's because I'm supply blocking myself, and that just shouldn't really be the case. Uh, I said in the previous video that my minute uh, by six minutes I should have at least 44 drones. If I don't hit that mark, it means I fell behind. Um, you know, obviously I can hit that mark if I'm uncontested, like if he doesn't do anything cheesy at the start. Um, so I'm going to lose that Overlord, that sucks, that's going to supply block me for a bit. I lost that Ling up there too. You can actually see, if you look on the minimap near his big ramp, near his natural, I've actually got a Zergling there. Um, that's actually really handy, that's something I just do. I just leave a Zergling there, and usually when they come out of uh, their base to attack, you can see, I just saw it there. He didn't attack me, but usually they'll actually attack move into that, and it'll actually say to you, uh, you know, hey, your units are under attack, and that's a really good way. If you have problems watching the minimap, like I do, um, or sometimes I do, uh, that can be a really handy way to let you know when they're actually coming or not, just by putting a ling right there, even a marine, or a zealot, um, or a probe if you want. So he comes down here to check my third, see if I'm expanding there. Don't want him to kill that overlord, fuck that shit. Um, so yeah, I need to build another one right now, I'm pretty sure I've got one on the way, let's have a look. No, I don't! <laughs> Oh, it's because I'm building all my structures. Okay, yeah, so it's six minutes. And you can see that I had about, you know, there's five structures I was built. I had about 35 drones at six minutes. Not too bad. It's much better than last game, where I only had about 23. Um, yeah, but just overall, it's just really, really shocking how bad that last game was. Holy shit. 
Uh, but this game here, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, but here he comes in for a bit of pressure at the start. I'm really not used to this kind of crap. I really, really hate it, actually. Um, I think he actually manages to kill a queen here. Uh, but I have to build some links here to prevent this, and I really don't like it. And I'm not very good at controlling these. So I end up having to bring my workers. Uh, until the links come out. So he's running away. That's... You know, that's good for him. Uh, and there are my lings. I didn't bind them straight away, so they got a little bit carried away there. But uh, I need to kill this stalker. I need to kill that stalker, but... I don't know why I focused the zealots, but the stalker's the main problem here, but he manages to get... Oh, you can also see there that I misrallied my workers <laughs> when I told them to go back and mine. Oh, uh, that was pretty much it. So now I've got a bunch of lings that I don't necessarily need, and I'm... You know, I'm a little bit, a little bit behind from that. Push me behind a little bit. That... Evolution Chamber didn't build for whatever reason. I think maybe there was a unit that stopped it from doing it. Kind of sucked, but, you know, I'm just thinking at this point, hey, why not? I'll just go and send these things over there, see what he's doing. Because he did snipe my Overlord over there. I should be having more Overlords around his base. That's something I need to do in this matchup a lot more. I don't I do not do it so much for Protoss. Or sometimes I do do it. It's just hard. Sometimes I forget. You know, there's so much going on in these games that just... It's easy for things to slip your mind. So you can see there that he's actually he's actually coming down there. Now I don't really want to engage here if I don't have to, but uh, I just like to peek in, just have a look. Don't engage there; it's a stupid idea. So I'll just go up here and attack move once I get up to there. Now I don't know if you guys actually noticed, but in that hotkey group, I had actually bound a roach there, and it caused these links to quickly turn around for a second. So. I did manage to see some buildings there. I, I don't think I actually paid attention to what he was actually making, but that's also something else that I've I've discovered. Like scouting, just for the point of scouting, isn't worth it. You need to um you need to scout and you need to actually look at what's building. Like if buildings are morphing in, it's very important that you actually click on them. Um, it's very important to, uh, to actually look at your scout when he's scouting. So. Uh, yeah, so there, there was a roach that just got hotkeyed over there for whatever reason, and I lost it. Decided to just not care about that. But um, overall, I'm still. I think I actually started to try and build a third base. Uh, did I? Is that a drone that I've got over there? Let's just actually have a quick look. No, he doesn't. I don't have a drone. This is an overlord. I've got two overlords there for whatever reason. Uh, but he ends up pylon blocking my third, and I don't quite realise that when I start to build my third. Um, <coughs> so it's a little bit crap. So, um, for whatever reason, I've got an Overlord chilling out here in the middle. That's not sure why. Um, you can actually hide Overlords on the tips of those little black bits on this map, and uh, you can. It makes it very easy to, for you to actually see scout, uh, not scouts. I see units passing through. So they act as scouts. Yeah. yeah. So um, you can see plus ones on the way. I'm just pumping out roaches. This guy obviously knows that I'm going roaches. He saw that roach walk into his base. Um, I just saw it work actually on the mini map that I didn't notice, I don't think. Um, so he's starting to build immortals, which is what pretty much counters roaches through and through. So you can see he, he actually pylon blocks me. If you're looking on the mini map there, he's actually done it now. Um, there's that probe that was actually hanging around down the bottom there. And I, I don't realise this. I think my hatchery is actually building now. And uh, if I was actually focusing and concentrating instead of sort of worrying like I kind of am in this game at this minute. Um, you know, I'd be over there trying to hotkey the hatchery and see that. Um, I can see that he's uh, I can see that he's not really doing much. I don't know where his army is at the moment, so I'm a little bit concerned. And there it is; it's on the main ramp. I can see that he's moving out on the mini map, so I know that. And at this moment, yeah, I'm pretty much just you know, it's p way past 11 minutes. My timing window is just slowly, gradually falling away, and uh, I can see that he's got immortals. So I'm actually a bit concerned about this. So I'll pick off what I can. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> um, at this moment, like, once again, this guy wasn't very good, I don't think. Um, well, I'm not very good either, but I think I played a little bit better than this guy. I was actually able to... You know, I fumbled those up. I don't know why that happened. I think the roaches were in the way, for whatever reason. But uh, I still think I played this game decently. Uh, it was better than my last game, for sure. Um, here I'm just trying to defend, so pick off whatever, whatever I can before the Immortals get up there. And, uh, yeah, this Immortals really kind of suck. Something that happens with Protoss that, you know, really, really shouldn't happen. And you can see here that I've just got way much, I've got way too much for him to handle, like, he just doesn't, 
He doesn't have the units to counter this, so I'm trying to target down. Uh, I'm trying to target down the sentries. And this is where I finally see that pylon. I didn't notice that. And he just left. There you go. GG. <laughs> no GG or anything. He just leaves. And uh, that's it. Um, so one thing I've noticed about playing with Protoss is that if you leave them alone for too long, they just get massive armies and rape. Um, it's really, really uncomfortable. So this timing attack of mine really can't be delayed. I really need to do it at the start to deal damage so that they can't get to that point. Um, but if we go to the everyone cam, you can see here that he doesn't really have much. Um, I'm not quite sure what his strategy is. Uh, he's obviously got... If we just back it up real quick and uh, pause it. What's he got researching? He's got nothing researching from there. He's got about... How many gates does he have? Six gates here, a robo, uh, and a forge. So I'm not sure what he was doing. Some sort of six gate attack. I'm not sure if there is even a name for this attack. You know, players in this league sort of just tend to do what they want. Um, regardless, but you can see that he's only got one attack. I've got uh, one one. Is re is uh, okay. Plus two attackers on the way. I guess I forgot to research the defense, or maybe I didn't have the minerals at the time. Uh, and that caused me to uh, just forget about it. I don't know. But uh, drones aren't really that great. I should bring some drones from over here down to there. But this is a problem. This is a big problem right here. I need to be more aware of this crap. Um, really kind of sucks that I didn't notice that. God damn. Anyway, guys, this was game two, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on game three right away and then start uploading these videos. So, once again, I'm Maddie. Hope you guys are enjoying this, this little series that I'm putting together here. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys, peace.